Hello, this is my color wheels and color color charts um, homework. Up here at the top, we have the color wheel first. Um, so with this color wheel, I started with three colors first. Um, the yellow medium from our open acrylics, um, the naphthol red light, and the patholo blue. And then to make all the complementary colors, um, I just mixed pretty much all the colors to attempt to make them. So patholo blue, and yellow um, made the green and then I also put in this green the actual patholo green um, this red and blue made the this purple right here and then that's the dioxazine purple and um, that's in the kit and then the yellow and red made this orange but uh, we don't actually have that orange in the kit and then to make any of the um, <clears throat> secondary colors or analogous colors that are in there um, so for this orange, when I made that, I added a light bit of the yellow into it, into its own little pile. As you can see here, these were kind of like my uh, wax paper palettes of mixing little colors. I really used like tiny little dots to put on there, or like take it and just little tiny dot, another tiny dot, mix it up and see how it worked out. Um, and it turned out pretty clean. Um, my, I think my favorite part about the color wheel is the lighter middle ring. Um, I feel like those colors really remind me of Easter for some reason. Um, and then the darker inner wheel, um, these acrylics don't come with black, but in your video you explain how to make black um, using a certain amount of parts of the colors. And then with the open acrylic, it did come with this template too, which I wanted to actually mention. Um, the carbon black on this one was a different amount. Um, it was two parts magenta, two parts of the yellow, and then one part of the green. Um, and it wasn't turning out to look black, so I went off your video amounts from that color chart, and it actually really turned out to look a lot better of a black. That's actually um, the colors mixed from um, your video of 10 parts magenta, um, six parts green, and three parts yellow. Um, and then I use that black to make the inner wheel. So I would take the yellow and add that black that I made and then put it in there. Um, and it looked pretty cool. It looks, uh, I guess it's as close to the darker side of each of those colors as I think I can get. Um, so after the color wheel, I came down here for practice blending. Um, I just kind of started with colors. I was like, how would green and blue turn out? So I went from blue and then green and then kind of mixed them back into each other and got that turquoise. And then from that green, I was like, all right, let's see how yellow would turn out. And then I got a yellow green right there kind of in the middle. Um, and then went from yellow to red and then got that orange. And I think the hardest one was going from red to blue to get that purple to blend it. Um, that was probably one of the toughest ones to make it look like a smooth transition. Um, red and blue really seems like, in my opinion, a hard color to blend. Um, and then for the second line, achromatic white and black. Um, I did from what your video you said to put white on one side and then black on the other. This black is actually not the black that I made. Um, when I was mixing it to make that gray, it put the middle gray in the middle. Um, it was turning out to be this purple right here and I didn't want to put purple on there. So I grabbed white and then a different type of uh, acrylic paint to get that black. Um, and then I mixed them together to get that middle gray and then just slowly started adding um, black to that side and then white to that side similar to the magenta and patholo green um, I just started on one side doing the red and then on the other side doing the green um, and then in the middle um, mixed them like a one part green red mixed it together put it in the middle and then just from those piles just added green to see what I would get and then added red to see what I get same or I'm sorry that one was magenta this one was the red um, the one down below um, and your method really works starting at one side one side and then mixing the colors of equal parts of one part red one part green um, this is what it turned out and then going towards the red it would look brown and going towards the green it looked turquoise to green to this bluish color. I feel like these turned out to look fairly similar. Um, and at the bottom, um, you mentioned something down here to try the purple and yellow light and purple and medium yellow. Um, and these are what I got. Um, they look fairly similar. Um, now that it's actually kind of drying up, this one does look a lot lighter than that one. Um, so yeah, this was uh, 
all interesting. A lot of mixing, a lot of fun, um, interesting stuff, a lot of technical details of mixing equal amounts um, and creating um, colors. Um, and yeah, this was a this is my art area, as you can see, journal over there. Figured I'd show you guys where all the magic happens. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you.